Lightning Mask, alias John Brown, PlanetHipHopNews.com. We back again. Got one of the illest independent artists, Mr. Network himself, D. Labrie, man. Tell him a little bit about yourself, man. Let him know what's going on out here. Yo, what's poppin', man? It's High Road Day. Honestly, High Road Souls and Mischief is the reason I pursued a career in hip hop. That's my favorite group, and it's so beautiful to see it like 20 something years later still going. So, we out here, West Oakland, you know what I'm saying? I'm with Alias John Brown, and we just having a good time, man. They call me Mr. Network. I'm out here networking. It's good to see all my fam. And this is real hip hop right here, man. Real music, real independent grind. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. We out here every year, Labor Day, High Road Day, it's a holiday, man. From Oakland to Chicago, we out here, representing with my homegirl, Hella Famous, and we doing it big, man. What, what TV show is this? Because we got to represent it. PlanetHipHopNews.com. There we go. And I'm D. Labrie, Mr. Network, East Oakland, EOG, off top. Check out DLabrie.com. We out here for hip hop, man. We out here for unity. We out here for peace. You know how we do it, man. Big time. Follow me on Instagram and check out the album, Mr. Network Part 1. We got Part 2 coming soon. Check out the video. Subscribe to my YouTube, D-L-A-B-R-I-3. Man, it's good. Off top. What you got to say, man? I man. know you got big. R.I.P. Kato. Uh, Rest in peace, Jacka. Yeah. It's finna go down, the loonies finna rock. I'm telling me. Man, see, see this guy right here is one of the top guys in the hip hop congress, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So so he's real active in the streets. I wanna ask you, man, uh, I know you keep track of, of the current events in the news. Tell me how you feel about them trying to synonymize hip hop with the violence that's happening in the community. Well, I don't feel it at all because I feel like you can't blame violence on hip hop. You can't blame violence on rap. And you can't blame violence on hood niggas. Because this country been violent way before there was a black community, way before there was a hood, way before the, the great African migration, way before the slave trade, this country was violent already. So niggas like me and John Brown, we just out here living. We're not violent individuals, we're survivors. And it, I'll be damned if you try to tell me rap is what created violence. Because there was violence way before there was a lyric or there was a fucking CD or a tape or a record label. Tell them. So fuck what y'all talking about, man. We out here telling our real stories. There are violent people in this country, in this world. Don't blame rap and don't blame us inner city poor folks. It's here. We, we, we survivors of it too. We live through it too. We trying to stay alive too, so don't blame violence on rap. We just out here expressing ourselves. It's it's good rap, it's good hip hop, and it's niggas that suck. So leave it at that. Don't blame rap and all the world's and the country's problems on us. You know, we just out here make, telling you the story. If you don't like the story, then turn the shit off. I mean, that's like telling the newscaster not to report the news. You know what I'm saying? So we, we just out here showing how it is in our life from our perspective, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got their own perspective, you know what I'm saying? We building, Hyro Day is an example of how you can build in a hip hop world, you know what I'm saying? This right here is so, so monumental because they turned something into a festival that's something that can last forever. Right. So, you know, it's an example for other hip hop artists to be able to build their brand and do their thing. Don't try to minimi minimize uh, us because the stigma of, of violence in rap music. There's a stigma of violence in news reporting. You know what I'm saying? So, think about that. You know what I mean? I'm alias John Brown. It's www.planethiphopnews.com. D. Labrie. Yo. And make sure, on top of all this shit we talking, just check out Alias John Brown music. Because the music will tell you what we talking about. Check out Mr. Network. You will hear the story and you will see for yourself. It's not all violence and crime and bullshit. Watch the movie straight out of Compton. I don't know if it's all factual, but it's not all violence and crime. It's a story behind that. With kids, families, mothers, fathers, and real people. So see us that way. 
Don't come at me like no rapper. Come at me like a man. You feel me? Right on, man. Basically, everything he said just sums it up, y'all. Stay tuned. We got more. www.planethiphopnews.com. What you got, Doc? We have the Top Shelf and the Isla, which are canned cannabis. This is actually cut off the plant, and they trim it, they put it in here, they seal it, and they cure it in the can. This shit remind me of them Vienna sausage days. <laughs>